is a brief video description of the control panel and the buttons that happen. So power button turns it on, it takes a few seconds for it to boot. And then um, for button functionality, you notice when you press a button that this light flashes and that indicates that the button has been pressed. And that happens for all three of these buttons. You can see that flash. The menu settings are if you um, press the battery button, it'll show battery. If you hold it down for three seconds, it will show a number, and that is 05. That's an, an amp hour odometer. So that counts the amount of amp hours that the battery is delivering to the motor. And for this, uh, we went on a ride for about six miles and used five amp hours. And then when we recharge it, you can reset that odometer by holding this for five seconds. You'll see that zero 05 go to zero zero. And now you have a start. So after you recharge a battery, you can set it to zero zero and then keep track and see how many amp hours are used by the ride. And that's a good way to check and make sure that, um, you know, if it's getting, uh, for lithium batteries especially, it's hard to display the exact um, battery level so you can keep track of amp hours. Another uh, for that, if you hold down the battery and press the arrow button, you can adjust the power level. And that will get you into a P2. When you press the next button, it'll go from P0, P1, P2, toggle through there. P0 is the lowest battery level, or the lowest power level, 20 amps max and um, 15 miles per hour. And this is P1, 20 miles an hour, maximum of 20 amps. P2 is 30 amps and 20 miles an hour. If you need to extend your ride, um, you notice very little uh, acceleration difference between P1 and P2, and you'll get more miles out of your battery. And then whenever you get to the selection that you want, you press battery, and it will go back. If you hold the battery button and press the plus button, it gets to the display toggle between lithium and SLA. Lithium and SLA. The sealed lead acid battery display will read the voltage in the battery and give you an indication of charge level. The lithium tries to do that, but the, but the chemistry in the lithium battery is such that it's very hard to, to read a difference in charge level. And so, uh, but it is, it is a little bit closer with lithium to track that. It'll at least give you an indication of somewhere between L2 and L5. Um, but that's why we have included the, uh, the amp hour reading, especially for the lithium batteries. And uh, let's see, there's also a diagnostic worth no noticing here. If you hold the, the plus and the arrow at the same time, it will flash to zero, zero. You'll hear the relay go off so the motor's no longer engaged. And now when you press the throttle, it will go, it'll show all the way from zero to 99. And that will give you an idea if the throttle is working correctly and whether it's getting a full range. And to exit that menu, press the battery button once again. All right.